foam cord. Uh, we're putting sticky tape around where the rod enters the blade. Here we are cutting the fibers that uh, surround the blade. These are basalt fibers, essentially made of uh, basalt rock, an igneous rock. Fitted to the blade, it needs to be tightened. This will prevent seaming, and stray fibers need to be cut off so they do not poke through the bag. Now we are wrapping it in release fabric. And now we put this layer of red fabric, which is breathing fabric, which allows for multiple injection points of the polyester resin. The original intent behind my design was actually to create a solely drag turbine that would be able to change its drag on one side versus the other. So I thought of a blade that could pivot and reduce its uh, cross section to the wind and reduce its drag greatly. And then the idea spawned that as it turned and as it sped up, that it could turn into a lift turbine. You could have lift turbine that didn't require startup energy. So the major difficulties of this project, of course, came when trying to manufacture our wonderful design. Uh, we ran into a lot of problems with uh, machining and you know, having bearings that were completely encased and untouchable and having far too many weld points. So the design changed a lot and changed a lot. Definitely the primary concern was that the foam that we had to use for the blades was so resistant against any type of cutting.